Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs. I know many of you know me as Glenda the Good Stitch. In this video, I want to talk about options for your large upper arm, if you happen to have one. In a previous video, I showed you how to measure your arm, add ease, and compare it to the sleeve pattern, and how to add additional fullness at the underarm if you need to. Of course, the more you extend the underarm, the more likely it is that you're going to need to extend the underarm of the bodice in the front and the back, which of course makes the bodice bigger. And so I know that's not always the best of alternatives, so let me show you a second option to do with the sleeve pattern. What you can actually do is take your sleeve pattern and split it down the center, and instead of adding at the underarm, add your extra width in a slight curvature in the center of the sleeve. I've drawn that in pink so that you can see how it's going to make that center seam curve just a little bit. And in a garment where I've actually done a center sleeve, or a center seam I should say, is in this beige jacket right here, and you can see that seam going down the center. Because I've used a solid color fabric, it means that if that seam was curved, it wouldn't be very obvious or if you were to use a very bold print, you also would not see that seam. Let's take a look at another option. On this sleeve pattern, you're actually going to see that I've widened and curved the underarm seam. I know that might be a little strange to have a curved underarm seam when we typically have them straight, but this option does definitely work well. It widens the sleeve out in the area where your arm is the fullest. And where you'll find directions for this is in the SureFit Designs Learning Center.com. Go to the article library and look for the article that's titled A Successful Sleeve or Upper Arm, Large Upper Arm Alternative. Another thing we can do is take a look at some different styles for sleeves. As we take a look at this particular sleeve, you will see that I've inserted a triangular godet. It's at nothing at the sleeve cap, and this triangle widens out down towards the hem. And I have put a little button on the bottom, but you certainly don't need to if you don't want to, and that will give you extra width for a large upper arm. On this mannequin, I have a flutter sleeve. It's uh, having the sleeve cap widened out completely and no change to the actual length of the stitching line of the sleeve. So that's a pretty alternative for you as well. These particular sleeve styles are found in our designing book called Beyond Bodice Basics. Now let's take a look at these garments on these mannequins over here. Another really excellent option for you is the dolman sleeve. And this is actually our holiday happy top, and it's found in our newest website called SoFitAcademyOnline.com, and it's one of our newer sew-alongs. This pink top is featuring a pleated sleeve cap, which of course is going to add fullness to this sleeve pattern as well, accommodating the larger upper arm. And on the blouse that I'm wearing, I've put a pleat all the way down the center of the sleeve. And again, it's just opening up comfortably. So if I did have a large upper arm, it would flow over that as well. And the directions for this particular sleeve are found in my blog. And the address for that is Surefit Designs blogspot.com and one last sleeve design that I'd like to uh, comment and show to you is this tulip or petal sleeve I know it's in black and black isn't that easy to see so I'll just use my hand here you can see where the front side of the sleeve cap is crossing over top of the back side of the sleeve cap and the only place where it's stitched, of course, is in the arm side. The rest of it is left open, and it would be easy to increase the curvature of that tulip or petal and let that flow comfortably over your arm. So you can see there are a lot of different options when you have a large upper arm, and SureFit Designs is going to provide all of these for you. 
If you've enjoyed this video, I certainly invite you to join the SureFit Designs community, and you can do that in three easy steps. Number one, make sure to sign up for our newsletter. You can find our newsletter sign-up form at the bottom of every page in surefitdesigns.com. And of course, when you do, there'll be free gifts to get you started. Secondly, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thirdly, join our worldwide community of like-minded seamstresses. Literally, world, <laughs> women from all over the world connect together in our Facebook group. It is a closed group, meaning that you do need to request to join, but when you hit that Join Now button, I will approve you. And uh, the address for that is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash SureFit Designs. Join us and all the rest of the women who are posting their garments, answering questions, and in general, enjoying working with SureFit Designs.